So, Mark, as an investment banker, you work with many, many different companies, but a couple that you've worked with that seem to fit this trend of buy and build are TMW and Coulson. Let's start with TMW. Just walk me through the process. Okay. Uh, we sold TMW originally in the mid-2000s to Wachovia Capital, which was later spun out and renamed Pamlico. Uh, and at that time, TMW was the largest provider of trucking management software. Uh, they, between the time Pamlico bought them and we sold them just a few weeks ago, uh, consummated five acquisitions, um, added fleet management, logistics, third-party logistics, uh, and dedicated fleet management for a broad array of different customers in Canada and different specializations, uh, and became the dominant provider of software uh, solutions for this industry. Uh, and we sold it uh, closed beginning of October and uh, it was a $335 million transaction the second time around. And why was TMW the right company to build this platform and, and grow through acquisitions? I think it was founded in 1983. They had the right technology. Uh, they just had, like many entrepreneurially founded and run businesses, they had a capital constraint and weren't able to go out and effectively acquire their competitors and additional capabilities. Um, Pamlico provided them with the capital and the expertise to do that, uh, and they were able to go out and complete these five acquisitions, which gave them a broader array of products and a full suite of customers uh, until they ultimately became the number one provider. And let's talk about Colson, another company that you've worked with that is a good example. Okay. Uh, Colson was owned by the Pritzker family in Chicago, who had done a 50-year buildup of acquisitions in the caster industry, and they sold to furniture, healthcare, industrial manufacturing. Uh, they had bought operations all over the world and uh, when they were completed with that effort, they hired us uh, to sell it and we ran an auction process and ended up selling it to um, Sentinel Capital in New York City who partnered with a group called CITIC, which is located in China. It's the private equity arm of the largest uh, brokerage firm in China and uh, CITIC will help them continue to do acquisitions in China and Asia and to grow that business uh, for Colson. When you think about these companies that have the potential to become a whole platform, a much bigger company through acquisitions, what would you say the criteria is? You know, you, you see it a lot with people who are selling their business who would like to say that they can become a platform uh, uh, for a successful acquisition buildup. I think the number one thing is, has the management team successfully completed acquisitions in the past? There's a lot of whiteboard, a lot of dreamers, here's all the targets we could, we could hit. Uh, but if you have a management team that has successfully done acquisitions like the Colson uh, folks or TMW, um, where they've done five or six acquisitions and been successful, and you still have a roadmap out there of potential competitors or add-on capabilities, that's usually a pretty good recipe. For more on trends in private equity and M&A, see the November issue of Mergers and Acquisitions, featuring our roundtable on Buy to Build. And for daily news and video interviews, visit themiddlemarket.com.